Well good morning everybody and welcome once again to Eggs Orchids. Now today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm off over to our uh, Vice President's uh, uh, house and I'm going to take uh, a few videos of his uh, orchids he has in there. He has about 600 I think all together but uh, I'm just going to go over there and it take me about three quarters of an hour to get there and uh, we'll do a video of his, uh, his greenhouse and his, some of his flowers and how he keeps them and how he mounts them. Well I'm now in our uh, Vice President of the Society's uh, greenhouse so I'll just show you around a little bit. He's got about, uh, ooh, we said over 800 plants in here so we'll, we'll just have a look. Uh, a lot of them are with small plants because he does like his little uh, his little seedlings to grow on. I don't know why though because uh, he's getting on a bit and he'll never see them flowering. <laughs> he's going to come in view in a minute. What he's doing is repotting a, a Phragmopedium ricteri. It's only a tiny one but it's been in the pot about two or three years. So uh, he's just having a look at it. As you can see there there's Mr. Crook. We'll carry on round the greenhouse. It's like in four sections, you know, it's split in between. I think it's about a 12 by 10 greenhouse this. So uh, he has quite uh, some big spaces and big benches, but he also has some very, very big plants that uh, it's a bit cramped in here so uh, I'll see what we can do. Not a lot in flower but I'll show you everything that he's got. That looks like one just going over, I don't know what name it is but uh, we'll find out later. This is a little sample of the small plants he's got and I'll try and go around them for him. This is uh, Trichoglottis Triflora and then there's the one, there's another one, Cuspitsonii, Dendrobium, Blalia anceps, another Cuspitsonii. And another cuspid cuspid sony eye. Yeah. One here coming into flower. I don't know what it is. What is this one, David? It's coming into flower. It's Oncidium ketleensis. Oncidium ketleensis. I'm informed. I don't know how on earth it waters all these. Spray gun. With a spray gun. And this is uh, this is a novel way of mounting. It's on uh, I think it's a gorse gorse bark. Or a, a gorse yeah. uh, part of a part of a tree that's just been cut off, and um, on it is growing. What is it, David? That's growing on. What's the plant? It's forgotten. Yeah, I've forgotten. I told you how old it is. Spectabilis. Uh, Dendrobium spectabilis. No, no. Oh, it'll come to me. It'll come to him in a minute. I can't remember the names of anything. It should be labelled then. It should have a label somewhere. Uh, I, forgot, I forgot what it's called. Nice plant with some nice roots on. Fortunately we don't know. Uh, we've forgotten the name of it at the moment. We will. Uh, 
You see, he uses a lot of this uh, gorse bark for mounting his plants on. Occasionally, he does some in uh, cork bark, but uh, mainly on this gorse. Gorse is the best. Which he said is the best thing to uh, mount them on. This is a Isabella Pulcella, that. Isabella Pulcella. Isabella from, Bra from Brazil. Isabella Pulcella. And it's flowering. It's got flower buds. And it's got, flower, it's got flower it's buds. It's got flower buds coming on there. See. Oh, you can see the size of them. Uh, no, they get big. They get bigger. They're still only small flowers. But. Just have a look around the. Uh, this part of the greenhouse now. You have a play in there. See, that's another one with the uh, gorse. Looks like it's flowering nicely. Well, it looks like it's growing nicely. And that's the gorse bark. Well, it's not bark. It's uh, it's like a gorse log. All the electrics, and this is a Phragmopedium sedanae, looking very nice. So it's a matter of just showing you uh, how many plants he's got. I can't name them all, and. Uh, and the size of them and where he keeps them. Cat layers here. Some more plants on gorse there. Let's have a look at the name on this one. It's uh, Labella virginalis. But he's got two big growths on this log. Yeah, he's got one or two uh, frags here, and uh, I do believe these are frag cavacchiis. Growing very, very nicely. Another little frag there. More mounted plants. Tiny little plants on big pieces of log. But they will come on. This one is actually flowering. It's got a bud coming on. It's Treas Picta. Right, I believe you. Now these are Treas Picta, which he used to try and grow on the court bark, but the uh, the roots wouldn't adhere to it. So what he did, he took them off the court bark and put them on this uh, gorse log. And uh, within a few weeks he said, the roots are there and they are grabbing hold of the log. So uh, that's a nice success story. That's what we all would like to hear. Trias Picta. So if you're growing on uh, cork and you're not having much success, try try a log like he does. And uh, this is the gorse, which is very very common. And uh, see what results you get. This is another uh, example of the. Uh, gorse bark with a cattleya lutea on it. Luteola. Luteola. 
Look at this grabbing hold of the bark on this tree. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. It's beautiful. It's a good that, plant, this. That's really doing well. Look at that. That should flower next year, I hope. Did you hear that? He's expecting it to flower next year. Yeah. I keep trying to tell him to keep quiet while I'm talking, but uh, he's one of those people you can't keep quiet at all. This is a nice little plant, Espiritu uh, Santor. Uh, nice flowers on it too. Just opening up and uh, some more buds to open. Oncidium Espiritu Santor. Beautiful. Equatorial and we've plant. just named that plant that we couldn't name before. It's a Bikeria. Bikeria spectabilis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what this is. And he's just informed me that uh, all these seedlings he's got come from uh, a gentleman e named Dick Warren. Equatorial plants. Of uh, equatorial plants. Very nice too. And this is another Trichogothis triflora, also on another log. So we can see there's uh, three plants there with the uh, bit of moss on, uh, underneath the plants, which is what I like. I don't like uh, moss on top of the plant, uh, top of the roots. So that's doing very, very nicely. Now this is a Masdevalia abbreviata with uh, 17 spikes on. So this should be uh, quite a show when it's in bloom. What colour are the flowers on this, David? White, really. Hmm? White. White, are they? Right. White. That should be really nice. I think they have red speckles. Masdevalia abbreviata. I've forgotten, to be honest. This is one of David's own crosses. And it's, uh, we'll just have a look at the label. Lelia Anseps. Crossed by Lelia Albida. So, uh, how long has it been like this, David? How old is this plant? It's two years out of flask. It's two years out of flask. Should be beautiful. One of his own seedlings as well. It's, it's a natural hybrid. Oh. Here's one I've never heard of. It's a Dendrobrium petiolatum. This one's on a piece of... Uh, I don't know, it's not cork, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah cork. it's on cork, yeah. Dendrobium petiolatum, lovely root system, clinging to the uh, bark. It's funny while some of them uh, do cling to the, this uh, cork bark and others don't. Mm -hmm. right, Here's another nice little plant. Dendrobium leucosianum. Again on a log. Nice roots sticking to the log. Nice plant too. Plenty of growing to do, but uh, looks like it's well on its way. Here's another Masdevalia picta uh, with a nice bloom coming on now. Looks a big bloom for such a small plant, but uh, looks like it's going to be nice and colourful, that Masdevalia. Masdevalia picta. Here's another one on bark, Sophronitis sinua. New one on me, but uh, David seems to know all about them. Beautiful. He has two of them. Beautiful little. Beautiful flowers on them. Orange flowers. Here's another one in the same pot with the same. Some new growth coming on there. And there. Three. So these should be beautiful when, uh, when they're in flower. Sophronitis sinua. Here's another little uh, dendrobium with plenty of uh, buds coming on, as you can see there. Dendrobium subiliferum. subiliferum. So that's another nice plant. It's got some beautiful, unusual plants in here, but uh, I couldn't look after them like he does. Here he says it's a mystery plant. It's uh, no idea what it is. It had one leaf on when he got it. It's got a few leaves on now. It's never flowered, so if anybody has any idea what it is, just let me know. I think we'll make the last one now, because I think we've got enough to make a, a shortish video. This is Dendrobium nathaniels, with uh, just coming up with some flowers on there.